Hello guys, it's me Z from Wireless Solution and um, today we are going to work on uh, the Samsung Galaxy A6 the new uh, Metro PCS uh, Samsung phone <coughs> and this you can see that the device is being factory reset or you need to send in the Google account then so I'm going to sh help you show how to bypass the Google account on this one <coughs> So you can see that the volume up and down button, you will press and hold it for a few moments at the same time. Talk back on. So you can talk see right now in this one, talk back, come turn on right away. But what you need to do, it will show you sometime other screen that will show you, do you want to use shortcut key or you don't want to use shortcut key. So you will cl click that you want to use shortcut key. And then you will press and hold both of the volume and it will take you to the screen. Once you are in this screen, make an L shape. You will be menu. here. Red from top and list. Nine <coughs> items. Double you will tap click on back settings. talk back setting. Talk back tutorial. Talk right. Back settings. Now talk press and hold the volume uh, up and low volume at the same time. So talk back will be suspended. Now go back, uh, go down and come in help and feedbacks. <coughs> now if you are in help and feedback, get started with the voice axis <clears throat> now if you are already here so you can see that t tap one time on the screen so it will convert to this screen and you can see the clock sign click on that one <clears throat> so once you click on that one it will take you right to the gmail account no thanks <clears throat> So now what we are going to do, you are going to type, we are going to download three different types of software here. Number one will be BIT. BIT forward slash LY forward slash FRP underscore <coughs> Google you will click go on this one no, I think you need to type in here uh, it will be b i t dot l y okay it will be b i t dot l y forward slash frp underscore uh, google so this is number one that we are going to download so once you click on this one so it will take you to the screen just hit download <coughs> hit continue <coughs> sorry my throat is not feeling good allow okay this is number one you can see once it's completed it will pop up here the other we are going to download is bit dot l y forward slash f r p underscore bypass click on this one now this one is going to be downloaded here so it will be the same thing you can see it here that once it's completed the other we are going to download is bit dot ly forward slash quick q u i c k quick underscore short So we are going to download this software give me one second i got a customer so you can see that is being downloaded give me one second i'll be back sorry for that guys i got a customer so now we are here so let's suppose if you miss that to opening that you will come here right go to downloads <coughs> so make sure all these three are completed so number one we are going to click on quick shortcut <coughs> so allow it once you allow it right go back and install 
it will take a few seconds to install when it's installed then we are going to open it click open on this one so it will take you to this screen <coughs> now what we are going to do go down and take yourself to the s samsung home experience click on this one click on the first one and try so it will bring you to the main home screen <coughs> now what you are going to do go to the main menu once you guys in the main menu so you will search for file go to samsung my files you can see uh, apk files you have three downloaded so now what we are going to do you will download you will install the android 6 g gm first right go to setting allow this one go back install in the same way it will take a few seconds to install this is done <coughs> now the other one we are going to install is frp bypass install this one too now this one you are going to open this one <coughs> you will be on this screen once you are on this screen click here browser sign in okay now you will put here your new google account that your gmail and password so let me put my new gmail is or you can use this old one if you have but as far as you know the password and the gmail account okay i log into my gmail now i'm going to put the password okay so now if you go to setting and check in accounts So my new Gmail will be there. Let's suppose I want to go to setting. Right. Now you will go here. Uh, it's just checking. You don't need to have to go here. But I'm just confirming that my account is being here or no. okay you can see my new google account is here so you will go back and just restart the phone <coughs> now it will take a few seconds to restart uh, if you have any question guys you can uh, do that and if this video helps you please please subscribe my channel it's uh, very helpful for us and it gives us the appreciation and it gives us the boost and energy that we can make more videos for you. Um, and if you have any other kind of question and this phone will work, this, this method will work on all the Android phones that has the software, the newer version 8.0.0. So all those phones who has the new Android software, so this method will work on almost all of them. If you can take it from <coughs> Samsung, LG, Motorola, any phone that has the newer version of software. So now we are here. You can click next. Make sure it's connected to Wi-Fi. Accept and continue next and uh, let's see there is few more steps that we need to take before doing this and so you can see my new gmail account is here <coughs> by the way it's new samsung galaxy a6 that came to metro pcs this is really nice phone uh, so do you want to restore the backup no don't restore i don't want to restore okay you want to put the fingerprints no thanks cap anyways these things now you are here you need to disable all of them okay now i agree so it will take few seconds
okay uncheck all of them okay skip skip finish so it's all done it comes you to the new screen so now what we are going to do here you will go here to the setting go down to about the phone <coughs> right once we are here to about the phone and so let me show you something about the you can see the android version 8.0.0 .0 and samsung experience this kind of thing so all the android version that has this one it will be working so you can see the building number you can click on the building number up to seven time right now once this finish you will go back and here it will show you another option when you come here a developer option before you guys don't have but when you click the building number seven times so it will show you this option now you will come here <coughs> now once you are here so it will show you here OEM mode sorry guys i got a customer but what i'm seeing over here that i think this phone um, don't have the oem mood so let's go to general management reset factory data reset and uh, we can just simply reset delete all let's see how it works <clears throat> let's hope for the best and prepare for the worst so guys uh, let's wait for it i wouldn't i would stop my video over here but it's a little different kind of situation so i will pause my video for a few seconds and once it's uh, completely restart so then I will start my video and show it to you that if it's working or not. Thank you. Okay guys, so the phone is being restarted. Now let's start with it. Skip, next. Skip anyways. I agree. It will just, just take a few seconds. Next. No thanks. Skip anyways. I agree. Skip. Skip anyways. <coughs> okay. So your phone is being completely Google bypass. Google verification and you can use it as a new phone. Thank you so much for your love and patience and your comments. Uh, and please, please subscribe my channel. It really give me boost. It's really helpful for, for me. And uh, thank you so much and enjoy your time. Take care of other people that is around you and uh, have a blessing time.